This video is an introduction to coordination systems. We're going to cover cellular respiration, the multicellular problem, the need for specialized systems, homeostasis, coordination systems, and the methods of communication of these systems. Cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria inside cells and it's where the cells get their energy from that drives all the processes that occur around the body. It involves glucose and oxygen being broken down into water and carbon dioxide which releases a chemical called adenosine triphosphate which is energy in the body and that energy can be used for other things. So as we saw, cellular respiration requires glucose and oxygen. As cells come together into larger and larger groups, we get a problem, and that is that there's not enough surface area for that glucose and oxygen to diffuse across that cell membrane. This is called the multicellular problem. The more cells in a organism, the harder it is for all the cells to get the nutrients that they need. The way we overcome this is by specialised systems. Uh, in this diagram it's a picture of algae coming together and you can see as more and more algae cells come together they actually start specialising. This is not dissimilar to the multicellular organism of a human. It has a number of different body systems which you looked at last year uh, including the circulatory system respiratory system, digestive system, all of these systems are specialised to do a particular job. The respiratory system brings oxygen into the blood or the circulatory system. The circulatory system moves that oxygen around the body to get to all the cells so that they can perform cellular respiration. Same with the digestive system getting sugar into the bloodstream. Homeostasis is the maintenance of a constant internal environment despite a changing outside environment. So inside the body stays the same, stays constant, while outside the body changes. An example of this would be temperature. Outside the body might get hotter or it might get colder. Inside the body it needs to stay at a constant 37 degrees. The reason that we need homeostasis is so that all the processes in the body chemical processes can happen. Outside of these particular ranges, the enzymes that catalyze those processes denature and the processes cannot occur. Some of the things that are regulated by homeostasis include temperature, salt levels, oxygen levels, glucose levels and acidity. And they're all things that are regulated within the blood system, so in the circulatory system. Coordinating all the specialised systems of the body and maintaining a constant internal environment needs communication between all those systems and all the different parts of the body. So there needs to be a communication link, so a way for them to communicate to each other, and a control centre. A lot of the time in the body, the brain is the control centre or glands attached to the brain are control centres. As for methods of communication, there are two main methods of communication between the different parts of the body. The nervous system, which consists of a whole heap of nerves that run through the body and transmit signals that are electrochemical throughout the body, and that happens very, very quickly. So if you put your hand on a hot plate, you very, very quickly know that uh, you feel pain and you can pull it off the hot plate. The second system is the endocrine system. The endocrine system consists of a whole heap of different glands around the body that produce chemical signalers called hormones. And those hormones travel through the blood system to other organs uh, that actually change something. These happen a bit slower and depending on the hormone, as uh, depends on how 
slow or fast it, it acts. Things like uh, thyroid hormone act very, very slowly, so it might be a matter of weeks before you notice a change, uh, while other hormones like adrenaline can act within a couple of seconds. In this video, we've looked at cellular respiration, the need for glucose and oxygen to get to all the cells within the body, the multicellular problem, that it's harder for the glucose and oxygen to get to all of the cells, the more cells there are in a body or in an organism, the specialized systems and the need to have the specialized systems to transport that glucose and oxygen around the body, homeostasis and the need for a constant internal environment. We've looked at the coordination systems and we'll go into more depth into that throughout this topic. And we've looked at the method of communication being either the nervous system, which uses electrochemical impulses and acts very quickly, and the endocrine system, which uses hormones, which are chemical signalers and acts more slowly.